We start with the claim to fame, and there are many here in Yarmouth, but we've decided to go with the Yarmouth Dennis Red Sox, the local entry into the Cape Cod League. By the way, a team allowed to keep its major league name through the generosity of the Boston Red Sox. They play here at Red Wilson Field, which is located at Dennis Yarmouth High School. One of the big draws every year, the camps for the kids. They do a great job. Everybody has a wonderful time. As for the greatest player in YD Red Sox history, probably Craig Biggio went on to collect 3,000 hits in his 20-year career with the Astros and will likely earn a spot in baseball's Hall of Fame next year. Well, for Best Eats, we came here to Captain Parker's Pub right along Route 28, a perennial contender when it comes to clam chowder competitions. In fact, the sign says it all. They're a triple crown chowder champion. Cape Cod, to Boston, all the way out to Newport. So is their clam chowder really that good? Let me be the judge of that. Ah, Catherine, we thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Enjoy. All right. So Jimmy, tell me what is it about the chowder here, Captain Parker's Pub, that makes it award-winning and one of the best you're ever going to taste? Ah, uh, fresh clams, small batches, fresh potatoes. Everything's hand-cut and fresh out back, without burning your mouth. Take a nice big, big taste. Oh my goodness. Nice and fresh. Phenomenal. Best place for kids here in Yarmouth? Oh, we got a piece of it. The Bass River Sports World on Route 28. If you've got a kid, this is a must visit. It has everything, and I mean everything, that your kids want to do. Oh, we got all that one. Oh, that was good. He popped out an elastic bat. They've got soccer. Oh, Pele. Uh, riding my coattails. Oh no, he cut the inside! Quiet, please. King off at the driving range. And of course, this miniature golf, I got my friend Jack here, a putt off. Whoever drains it wins. Read it and weep, pal. Ha! Ah, hold it! Ah, uh, you're killing me! For the local landmark, we come to Hallett's store here on Main Street in Yarmouthport. It opened in 1889 and has been in business now for 123 consecutive years. That's quite a streak, the longest on the Cape for that matter, but there's so much more to it than that. You're talking about Yarmouth, uh, a lot of the uh, things in Yarmouth were founded right upstairs in the store. It used to be the meeting room, it used to be selectmen, justice of peace, collective customs, so in other words, and we also had a Massachusetts senator that had his office upstairs, uh, John Simpkins, so a lot of history still remains in this building. Hey! As for our hidden treasure, it's a bit of rock and roll history here on Cape Cod. This building behind me used to be home to the Cape Cod Coliseum. In fact, if you look closely enough, you can still see some of the old letters burned onto the brick here. For about 10 years, from the early 70s to the early 80s, the Cape Cod Coliseum hosted some of the biggest bands in rock and roll, including Aerosmith, Jay Giles, The Cars, The Kinks, The Clash, Van Halen, The Grateful Dead, Tom Petty, The Almond Brothers, just to name a few. It was also home to a minor league hockey team and hosted some old wrestling events for the WWF. But it will be best remembered as the old outpost for rock and roll here on Cape Cod. In fact, I think you can still hear the music. 